Hey guys, it's me, Mystical Gaming, back for my second commentary for my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed the first one. If you haven't seen it yet, I provided a link to the playlist that will have all my commentaries in it. So for my second commentary, I decided to do some Medal of Honor Warfighter beta commentary and gameplay, mainly because the game's coming out next week and a lot of you had concerns or questions and also what you thought about it. So a lot of people said they liked it, a lot of people said they didn't, so I figured I'd share my opinions and thoughts on the game overall. So to start, one of the, the big things that I think most people all agreed on is that the UI interface in this game is probably one of the worst I've ever seen. I have no idea what they were thinking in terms of their UI layout and the menus or even in the game like the HUD. I mean, if you look in the top left corner, you can barely even read that small text. Not everybody has like a, you know, 720p, 1080p, 1080i TV screen or monitor like I do. And even I, I can barely even read it half the time. Like I had to look up there and squint and say, what, what is that saying now? And probably on YouTube, you'd have to go into full screen and go into 720p mode on my channel just to read what it is. I bet you can't even see what it's saying. And... I feel like a game should have, you know, uniform UI, especially the text. When you have all these different weird text sizes, it makes it really hard for the player to see what they're looking at when you need, you know, split second reaction time, especially in a shooter like this. And it's just, I don't know what they were thinking and why they decided to go with that. I mean, the only reason I can think of is that they wanted to basically, you know, save up space on the screen. but. I mean, games like Battlefield have much larger text and it works well. I mean, Halo has, you know, uniform text all over the screen and it's it's not all, like, cluttered at all. It looks perfectly fine and works well. I feel like they tried to shove so much information on the screen at once and they're like, oh, there's not enough room, let's just shrink some of this text. And the, the top left is kind of important, too, because it's like your support, like I just got it right there. And you can barely read what you need to press. It's like... Even the button for the d-pad on there is just tiny and it seems like a small gripe but when you're having trouble in a new game on the beta and you can't read the text or you can't figure out where to go in the menus before you even pick a game that's a problem and so I hope if they fix this I don't know if they will because the game's coming out like a week after this beta was released if they'd even have time to do that probably not because it's the game is probably already on a disc, you know, in stores waiting to be sold, because usually it takes at least a month, you know, to get through certification and have stuff being made to manufacture, and so I don't know what what they were thinking or who designed it, especially since this game is very close to Battlefield series, why they would make the UI just so weird, and that brings me to my next part of the game, the gameplay in general. What does it feel like? Is it good? Is it bad? It just, is it, you know, like Battlefield at all? One of the things I noticed was a lot of the animations seem very Battlefield-like. I mean, there's a couple new ones, but things like jumping over stuff seems very similar, and even the gun animations when you run seems very similar. But in terms of movement, it's actually quite different in terms of how you move. Like, you kind of like, when you crouch, when you're walking fast, you kind of slide on the ground for a bit, so that's kind of a cool feature. I've not really seen any good use for it yet, but I bet, you know, when the game gets competitive or if there's a crazy match going on, it'll be helpful. Um, in terms of, like, reloading and stuff, it's it seems somewhat similar, and aiming down sights, you know, it's, it's nothing too hard to get used to, or, like, whoa, this is totally different than other shooters, and stuff like that. Um, it, it does bring a different... Feel, I guess it, it's got like this mix between Battlefield and the Modern Warfare Call of Duty series in terms of you know your walking speed and running speed and the hit detection I feel like the hit detection in this game is one of the strong points actually like I'm not sitting here pounding bullets into guys you know like oh he's not dead yet whereas in Call of Duty you know sometimes you'll get tons of hit markers and he won't die but here it's like it's pretty consistent. I've not had any, t like, too many weird moments where it's like, why did this guy die? Or, you know, why didn't we die at the same time? Or, 
Like right here, I think we kill each other. And that's acceptable. Compared to if that was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, I would have shot the guy, he would have lived, and I would have died, and Kill Cam would have showed me with like no hit markers. And so, I mean, for a beta, it's pretty impressive for hit detection. I feel that's not one of the issues this game has. So if you're really into games where, you know, when you shoot guys, you want to know that they've died, I feel like this one's pretty consistent. And, you know, we'll see how the population does, but in terms of networking, I think this is one of the stronger points in the game. As for the weapons in the game, I've only really got to try two. It's because, you know, you kind of pick one faction or whatever, and then you're kind of stuck with it. But for starter weapons, they aren't really bad. At least the ones I've got to use. The one I'm using now is even actually better than the uh, the first one. Forgive me if I don't remember the names, because, you know, UI and all that. I just kind of picked the guns. Like, oh, here we go. Let's use this. Um, and so I feel like you're not going to get gypped out in your first matches, you know, getting destroyed by people because they have better weapons. I feel like the starter ones are good enough and as you unlock new things. I'm not sure how all the unlocks are going to work or what any of them make a difference or, you know, if they'll help or not, but some of the scopes are pretty useful, I feel, and they've got a nice selection of camos. It's just one of those extra customization features, I guess. Um, when the game comes out fully, if I do plan to get it, I'll totally try different weapons like I usually do in games and we'll see how it goes from there. But for you know, for now, what I've used it it seems really good and it it works well and stuff like that. Moving on to the next point, and one of the major things people had issues with is the spawns in this game. Like, even for me I've had times where I would spawn in the fallback position and then I'd get killed instantly. It's like why did it spawn me here? when there were enemies around. And, you know, the buddy system has that, like, kind of bar that fills up and it can't complete unless there's enemies by. They should kind of have something like that for the fallback, I guess, but... This game was relatively good. I don't think I ever got killed in my spawn in this match. So it was pretty solid, but then there were games that were just atrocious. Like, you had no chance of winning because you are getting spawn killed. And that could be just the map in the game mode, too. A lot of people, I think, are judging the game a little too early for a beta, where they only have one game mode and one map, and it's not even really the best map, I think, in general. And so I'm gonna give the game a chance, if I do get the whole, the full game, you know, to see how it really is, and I feel that people will play this and like, oh, it's garbage because the map and stuff, you know, it may just be one map, or it could be the game mode that's forcing the spawn killing and all that dumb stuff. But yeah, it's... It's so one of those things I think people take a little too far sometimes. They'll play two games and like, oh, this is garbage. And for me, having played so many different games, you know, from so many different genres, and being a game tester, I, I definitely have an open mind and I try to, you know, critically think of like why they did things the way they did in the game or stuff like that. And so I try to see, all right, I'll play a couple more games here and give the game a chance, you know, instead of just play two and all oh, this was terrible matches, so it must be terrible game. And after playing at least 10 or so matches, and I've found that it's actually more enjoyable once I've learned what to do and where to go and what not to do and how to play a bit more, you know. I've gained that sense of awareness compared to just, you know, oh, two terrible matches, so I'm just going to quit now. And I, I know not everybody has time, and I don't even have time, and, you know, I feel games should have some sort of good learning curve. But I feel like this one doesn't have too bad of a one. There are people, of course, you know, who have, I guess, no lives that just spend all day playing the beta, and then you get destroyed. But, yeah. And so, to wrap this up, is the game fun, you know? Is it gonna be any good? And I, I can't say definitively, but I've had some really fun, close, competitive matches, actually. So I'll let you guys decide if you've got to play it or not. If I do get the full game, I will let you know what I feel about it. And, you know how it goes, and you'll definitely see gameplay show up, you know, the first few days if I do get it, depending if I stream the campaign first or not, but for now I'd say overall give it a chance, and if you don't like it, then there's tons of other games out there. It's definitely, you know, has some generic feel to it, but it, it also brings it some stuff to the table. I think this game mode's called like Hotspot or whatever, and it was alright. We'll see how it plays out and everything. 
And so that's, that's my two cents on the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary, and I will see you next time.